Welcome to Profit Farming with Mary. So, how are you? Uh, today, I want to show you what has been happening to our test. Yes, to the test that we made 12 days ago. It's exactly 12 days since we planted this. And this is what has been happening. So, this one is doing amazing, amazingly good. Look at that. Look at how it has filled the bucket. And it's also okay the camera is kind of showing it's not greenish but it is green i can tell you for sure it's green when i zoom in you see although it's having some publish i think i should add a bit of manure or the fertilizer or the compost tea to make it green okay we shall continue with that test and see what is happening but generally the azola grew the azora grew look at that it has filled in the bucket if you want to see what it was like when we first started this go and look at that video that we were doing the the different performance on the different mediums of organic of fertilizers not necessarily organic but it is organic anyway so this is comfrey comfrey tea and tithonia and stinging nato a combination of that decomposed for at least two months and then we put water and that's how it has performed then we come to the second part of it which is soil so this was soil and uh, it has grown yeah actually i was expecting this one to die <laughs> i was expecting this one to die because the soil didn't have that much of nutrients it didn't have any manure it was just uh, pure soil but to my surprise it has grown look at that it has filled the bucket although it has evaporated as you can see from the edges it has evaporated so i need to add more water here to fill up the bucket but it is doing amazing i'm actually shocked so you can grow azola in soil like soil alone but you'd have to need nutrients anyway our third experiment we have the chicken manure this is so disappointing guys this is very disappointing i don't know why it has dried because technically it did dry right i don't know why it has dried but i think i i put too much i think i put too much i will test it with a little bit less and see what it will do but for now here's what we have it dried it literally dried so we have this one which was chicken i mean sheep manure sheep manure i mean these things are so disappointing you guys look at this it dried it dried everything dried so this is what happened this was uh wet wet sheep manure and this is what has happened I don't know whether I would recommend anybody to use wet sheep manure. But I think I'll use them in a lesser quantity and see whether it is me who over fertilized or what happened. But for now, it dried. And then we have our last option, which was the Azola combined. I mean, not Azola. The chicken manure combined with uh, sheep manure. Look at it. This is how it looks like. Okay, there's a little bit of hope, but I don't know whether it's going to survive it, but that is how it is looking like. It's also forming these layers. Yeah, it's forming these layers. I don't know. I don't know why this is happening, but technically it has not dried like this one, but it is not in a good shape because if you compare it with what we have here, from our compost tea this is so good this is so beautiful even the soil did better okay but how are mm -mm, no they ain't good at all but i will test them in a lesser quantity like a handful i had put two handfuls here i had put almost a handful and a half i'll try with a little bit and see whether it is going to do better i will also try with decomposed sheep manure and see whether it is going to perform better and also de de decompose chicken droppings but for now these are the results so what i would actually recommend 
is this one compost tea so if you can make compost tea from comfrey stinging nettle and tithonia plus a little bit of ash wood ash this is the result for azola you can use it to grow your crops that is for somebody who has little or minimal access to cow dung manure okay yes yeah, so that's about it and yes I don't know what to say i don't know but i'm so happy with this one i'm so so happy with this one i was expecting the least from this but it has it has overwhelmed my expectations i was expecting the best from this but it it has disappointed me yeah it has disappointed me but anyway that's how it is going and yeah you can you can use that so now the only thing i need to work on is to make it and a nice green color now that is the goal to make it a nice green color i'll add a little bit of uh, of the compost tea i think for this i'll do 200 200 milliliters 200 milliliters of the compost tea and see how it is going to perform from now henceforth anyway if you want azola seeds hit me up give me tell me in the comment section and I will supply to you. In the meantime, bye-bye. See you in the next video.